Hello my beautiful friends and today's lookbook is um, brought to you just for Valentine's Day. The reason why I'm doing this lookbook is there's a lot of moms out there that don't know how to dress or what to wear um, on Valentine's Day and reason being is um, they either have kids that are always want to be held or carried or there's always stuff that needs to be done in the house and they don't have much, very much time to get ready and um, they basically um, just, you know, spend Valentine's Day in their pajamas or sweatpants. So there's a lot of women out there uh, that needs to step up in the fashion game, look good, feel good and um, you're basically doing it for yourself. You're not doing it to impress your husband or your boyfriend or um, your partner, you're only doing it for yourself and this is the best way to make yourself feel good. Being a mother of three and a wife, housewife, uh, not to mention, um, you kind of forget yourself um, doing all the house. Honestly, uh, this dress actually got um, from South Africa and I'm pretty sure you can find something similar. This is all glittery. I've worn this actually before for Valentine's Day. So I'm trying to be on a budget and not to spend money on clothes and reuse the stuff that I have and pair them differently. So this is the dress I wore it with leggings and the silver boots. Um, I will go over uh, the shoes. Then the next outfit I'm actually going to show you is this um, this shirt. I actually wore this shirt. I got this from a boutique, I believe, in Mississauga. And this is the cutout work piece, this feet, the way it's laid and cut out. Um, so I wore these with the... Uh, jeans my dorothy birkin jeans the reason why i wore dark wash jeans is because um uh, it just makes you look a lot more put together and more dressed up and then uh the blazer is from the bay it's called haze that's the next outfit third outfit is this uh, jumpsuit this jumpsuit is very versatile it can be worn in the summer spring or even for valentine's day because of the flower pattern look so I paired it with some white heels you can even pair it with booties if you like and um, this will still look amazing you can even wear it with flats and be comfy with your kids so the last three outfits that I'm showing you they're more on the casual side you can actually wear them at home or just when you're going out in the evening or for brunch lunch and for breakfast for Valentine's Day um, so the other outfit the fourth outfit oops is these pants from zara and they are floral print my husband hates these kind of pants but there's a way of putting stuff together i know if i wore this with the t-shirt sticking out he wouldn't like it but because of the way i pair them he doesn't mind me wearing them when i'm around him so this has a little belt detail on the side um, and these are the pants and I paired these with Zara basic tee and to give it more dressier look this has a tying thing at the front so I just tied it in a bow it has ruffled sleeves it's very flowy but I actually tucked this in to give it a more put together look and the Okay, so the last outfit is what I have on right now, and this is a top from Dynamite. It's just a plain shirt. I have it tucked in into my high-waisted uh, flared bell-bottom pants, and um, the pants are from Zara. They were the best investment ever. They were super expensive, I believe, for Zara. They were like 70, 80 bucks um, when I got them a while back, and... Uh, the shirt is very old. It's actually my mom's, to be honest. She was getting rid of a lot of the stuff from her closet. Whenever she does a closet clear declutter or a closet clear out, I usually go through her stuff, whether it be Desi or Western, and I pick out the good ones that I like. And uh, usually when she sees me wearing her stuff, she's like, why did I get rid of it? But anywho, um, so this is the shirt. It doesn't have a collar. It's... um. 
I forgot what it's called. <laughs> okay, I had a brain freeze. So this doesn't have a collar. It has like a mock neck and uh, you, it is very low cut. So being a mother, I have to wear something underneath. I wore for all of these outfits. These earrings are perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm just gonna get a little close up. So these are the earrings and you can wear them daytime, nighttime. You can rock it anytime. They are the perfect Valentine's Day earrings and um, they can look dressed up or dressed down. You can pair them with both. Okay, so let me go over the shoes that I'm actually going to show you. So the first pair of shoes that you saw me wearing were these booties and they are from Zara. They are very comfortable. They're very shiny, metallic-y, good for like dressing up. My brother makes fun of me whenever I wear these, uh, but I love them and they are the perfect way to make someone notice your shoes, your outfit. Um, it's very... Um, in your face kind of booties the other second pair i wore with the jumpsuit was these zara basic heels so these are the pair and this is what i had on it has a nice detailing um they're very classy they'll go with everything and anything um the other pair of shoes let me just get off um are these heels uh they're very classic, they go with everything. Uh, there's not much to say. These are not the Louboutins. I would not spend the money to be uncomfortable. I have uh, Christian Louboutins, um, but in the evening kind of wear, um, in gold color. These are not, these are from Amazon. The these are very comfy to be honest because of the platform i love the way the heel is they were slightly big on me so what i did was i added um i added the insole to make it all comfy so these are the pair i love them they're comfy i can wear them and not they won't hurt my feet that's the most important thing. And uh, for me, being comfy as a mother and a wife is more important than anything else. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed watching this series. Stay tuned for more lookbooks. Please feel free to comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see a lookbook. Um, you can send me your suggestions. What would you like to see? And I'd be more than happy to film that for you. Stay subscribed and don't forget to hit the no bell notification button. Happy Valentine's Day and lots of love to you. Bye.